hello and welcome to my channel now yes i am talking a little bit quieter and i might be talking pretty quiet throughout a lot of this vlog in this vlog we are hopefully going to uh, discover a fox den right now we are in january there is still snow on the ground as you can see there so you will be able to hear maybe people talking in the background in the distance and cars traveling past because of the road over here there's a road just up at the top there and some houses but this area you can see around i'll give you a good look around this area is trapped in between all of this and it's ideal for foxes and badgers so i came out oh, i thought i'd seen something there at this stage i don't know what i'm going to get but you're going to see my whole progress in this actual vlog so I'm going to quietly make my way over to where I put the camera. We're going to pick the camera up. I'm going to take it home and we're going to have a look at the footage and see what I got. If it's what I think it is, which is uh, fox activity and they are using this uh, den, this hole in the ground, then I will come back with my cameras because I've got two of these trail cameras now. I will come back and I'll place them a little bit more carefully. So I'm a little bit out of breath. I did get to the camera. It was still there and uh, haven't looked at the footage yet. I'll wait till I get home to have a look at that. Just to give you an idea of the area. Again, standing in a different place now. Uh, down there is the road and the village and up over the top here, We've got more houses and this little area of woodland and what would have been moorland uh well it still is moorland it's just trapped in between here as i said before so yeah that's the area that i've picked and for years i've heard the foxes roaming around at night calling to each other quite a eerie call they have and uh, i've always wondered where they camp out where do they live so hopefully I will track them down and we'll get some good footage through the spring and summer. It'll be interesting to see if I can actually achieve that. Good morning and welcome back. I say welcome back because we are obviously on a completely different day and a completely different camera. But I'm using this camera because I just wanted to make sure that uh, I brought you all the uh, sights and sounds of this beautiful winter walk uh, this morning. And we are on our way back to the location of my last footage from my wildlife camera. And what amazing footage that was. Can you believe that I got a deer? And I believe that it's a, what's it called now? A, no, oh, I've forgotten the name of that deer. I'll tell you later on. Uh, the breed of deer. When I first saw its head, I thought it was a kangaroo. <laughs> it looked like a kangaroo, but I obviously knew it couldn't be a kangaroo. But there's no way I thought that I would get a deer. Uh, so close to where I live and it's just a little area trapped in between uh, you know these villages so I never thought that I would get that so amazing footage and so happy so I'm on my way back to there I still can't think of the name of that deer if I don't think of it I'll put it in the description below but I'm sure you guys already know what breed of deer that is they're only small but amazing 
really blown away by that footage. Thought that I was gonna get badger or fox, maybe a rabbit, and end up getting deer right on my doorstep. So what do you think of the scenery here? It's a glorious morning, freezing cold, it's about minus one, uh, but a lovely walk out. So I'm gonna take you back to the actual spot where I planted that camera and I'm gonna put the camera back there. In my little video snippets, you could see the deer looking in that hole. So I'm thinking with the deer's super uh, sense of smell and ears, um, it figured there was something down there. So maybe the foxes are down there. But in the snow today, we might be able to uh, have a look at some uh, footprints and see what is knocking about down there. So that's the mission today. Just And I'm um, looking at the ground here. I'll take you down there, you can have a look. It's been dogs and I think foxes. I am officially saying that they are fox prints. So this is working out really well, being able to uh, just have a look at these uh, footprints. I'll let you have another look. There they are, there's one there. Some of them might be dog. Some of them could be a dog. They're quite big, but then the dog fox, some of them are quite big. It's not easy for me to tell dog from fox right now. There is actually a massive difference when I look at it on the little charts that I've been studying. Um, it, it is quite obvious, but not in the snow. <laughs> That's uh, because the snow sort of melts as well. So it looks bigger than it actually is. Uh, like Bigfoot. <laughs> right, let's uh, continue. Now there are fox prints I can see. You can see them down there. There. And there's the hole. And there's another one there. And you can see the mound here where they've dug out. And so I believe that, that there is fox in there. Can you see? Is there any foxes in there? Can you see them? <laughs> Maybe not. I can see the footprints go straight in, so I can almost be 100% this den is in use and they'll be underground right now. I don't really want to tread around it too much and put them off using it. Even my voice here isn't a good idea. So I'm gonna make my way up to where we spotted the deer using my wildlife camera. Just have a look there, because there's, there's another hole there. I don't see any footprints around here. Oh yes, there are. There are some footprints here. There's one nice one there. I 
And so this is the spot where that great picture was taken of the deer. Amazing, amazing picture. And that was the hole. There's no footprints around that. So maybe there's nothing down there in there. Might be badger, but there's no footprints around there. <laughs> so I'm going to put the camera back up now in roughly the same place hope you can see me behind here in roughly the same place as I put it before and I'm using the strap a little bit kinder to the tree <laughs> although I don't think the screw in version of the mount really does cause too much of a problem Now, now just in case you think I don't follow your advice, when I ask for advice for camouflaging my camera, I bought this on Amazon and it's just a load of like bungee string, all different colours, all put together. I don't know what it's called, but basically I put that around the camera and it just sort of takes the edge off it um, visually. And uh, yeah. I think it'll work well, so I'm going to put that round it. And that means that that means I'm happier to use the strap because you can put this around the strap. The sun is blinding, but gorgeous. Another look at this wonderful view this morning. Thank you for tracking my progress with the foxes and the deer, unexpected deer. And uh, let me know what you think of that uh, footage that I got and what breed of deer it is. It hasn't come to me, it hasn't come to me. I did look it up, uh, nut, something jack deer, nut, nut jack. <laughs> no, I don't know, it's gone. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna leave it there for now. Thank you for continuing to track my progress on the wildlife camera. I'm enjoying using it. We're gonna leave it down there, it's just down there. Uh, we're gonna leave it down there for quite some time now. Let the snow melt and uh, get some really good footage and build up a picture of what is actually living down in these woods and hopefully track that throughout the summer. So uh, yeah, thank you if you've enjoyed this one. Give me a like, consider subscribing and until the next one, bye.